Hi guys, you're watching GT channel and this is Under Bog Dungeon Run. So like always there are a lot of quests available at the beginning of the dungeon. So let's take them all. And I gonna get about 25,000 experience per quest. Wow, that's pretty nice at level 70. And I just took 4 quests. So in total that's gonna be about 100,000 experience after I fully complete this dungeon. Very nice. So anyway here we go. Gonna go fight these trash monsters. And I bet that this dungeon is located in the Zangermarsh territory. It totally must be located there. Because I see a lot of familiar monsters already. These flying bats, these underbog creatures, and of course the mushrooms that are growing on the ground. So yeah, the underbog dungeon is located in the Zangermarsh zone. Anyway, let's loot the dead bodies. Some kind of green item, gonna just grid on it. Well, I just gonna grid on all of the items. And this is the map of this dungeon. So as you can see, there are 4 bosses in the underbog. But first of course, like always, we have to clear a lot of trash mobs before we reach the first boss. So maybe I gonna skip some of the trash monster killing part to get to the first boss because, well, just killing the trash mobs is quite boring for me. So again, some strange loots from these damn creatures. And this is it, this is the first boss of the underbog, the hunger fan. But first we need to kill these guardians, these huge creatures, the damn giants. So let's take them down and then we're gonna go for the boss. And the last one gonna die in few seconds too. 1000 health left and he is dead. Okay. Damn bastards didn't drop any loot but still it's okay I guess. And here we go, this is the first boss of the underfan dungeon. This guy has over 100,000 HP and here I go, I just used my adrenaline rush ability, dealing some crazy DPS right here. Just look at his health, his health is going down super fast, at incredible fast speed and he is dead already. The hunger fan boss has just been slain. And he dropped some kind of gloves for a caster, gonna grid on them and I just want them. Well. I just gonna grid on all the items that I gonna get from this dungeon. Not gonna even look at them because, well, I'm level 70. Way too high level for this dungeon, I guess. But still, like always, I just want to check out the dungeons. That's it, and get some achievements. So again, here we go, fighting some more trash monsters at this place. Some flying bats, giants, and some other shit at this damn underbog dungeon. So I have no idea where are we supposed to go, so just gonna follow my party members. I guess this is the way. Let's kill this bog giant. And he is dead. Well, these giants have 50,000 HP, but still they are not that hard to kill for us, for this group. So going into the stilt, reopening on this guy, ambush. And now let's deal some more dips on him and he just gonna die. And of course I'm on top of the DPS meter because of my level, level 70. I'm just out DPSing everyone in this group. Oh my god there's a snake, holy shit a freaking snake, let's take it down. The snake is dead, so it's okay. The coast is clear. So now I guess we're gonna go to the left, into that strange building right there. First we got to kill this giant and there are some nagas here. Oh I see. There are some nagas from the Zangermarsh territory too. Well a lot of familiar creatures in this dungeon. At least they look like that for me. So now we are gonna go this way. Yes, this is the way towards the second boss of the dungeon. So let's go, I see some more nagas. So now we are approaching the Naga, the den of the Nagas. And this guy just pulled a lot of them so I just gonna spam my Final Nice ability to do some AOE DPS right here. Nice, I like big pulls. Seriously, big pulls are super amazing. Because they can attack a lot of monsters at the same time and deal a lot of damage to them. 
So again, let's grid on this item. And there goes the tank, pulls a lot of more mobs right here, nice. Let's spam my final nice ability. Just look at those yellow numbers. They're just amazing numbers. And most of the monsters are just dying. We are clearing this dungeon pretty fast. So now we're gonna go up. Yes, this way. This must be the way. And here we go, we are approaching the second boss. And the second boss is some kinda three-headed green hydra. Strange looking creature. This boss has almost 100,000 HP like the last one too. And he's already at half health. Holy shit, we are dealing some crazy dips right here. Well, again, I just used my adrenaline rush and the boss is dead already. Holy shit, how fast was that? The boss just died in about like 5 seconds maybe. Well, I didn't count, but like 5-10 seconds and the boss is dead already. Damn, this is some very fast dungeon run right here. So this boss have been just killed. So where are we going now? I have no idea where we gonna go right here. And I just got some kind of strange quest item. Well, this is the four Dark Moon Fair. So we're gonna jump down. Yeah, it looks like that we need to jump down into the water. Wow, this is strange. Pretty strange dungeon, but anyway, I just gonna follow my party members. The Dead Knight. I think the Dead Knight knows the way where to go. So I just gonna follow this guy. But first, I'm gonna kill the snake. Damn snake, you gonna die, throwing my dagger at him, and he is dead. Evil snakes. So now there are two ways to go, to the right or to the left. And we are going this way. Oh, I see we just discovered some kinda strange night elf right there. It's the quest, it's a quest elf, I think. So yeah, so now we are gonna go this way. And this guy just said that this part I hate. Why does he hate this part? This doesn't look that hard to me, so I'm just gonna go spam my Funnel Nice ability and kill all of them. What's there to hate right here? So yeah, just look at the numbers. Oh shit, I see! This damn creature spam fear! Damn it! That's why that Death Knight hates this part. Because these monsters have fear ability. And they can spam it on all of the members. Yeah, this part is a little annoying for us. There's a maggot on the ground. Anyway, let's go. Some more flying strange monsters. And these creatures, yeah, they are spamming the fear at us. Well, it's few seconds fear, but still, it's quite annoying. My current spell rotation is that I just use my final nice ability and that's it. I only use one ability at this point. Well, not only one, but two abilities. When I have full combo points on the target, I use my slice and dice ability. And then I just spam my final nice ability and that's it. This is my combat rotation at the, at the dungeon. And that's basically it. There are some bees right here. Most of these creatures drop some crappy items. Damn, there are so many of them right here. What the hell is this? It's some kind of beehive or something like that. Seriously. And look at that, my party member just got feared by some of them. But they are dead. Damn, this is seriously incredibly fast killing. Holy shit. Well, we have two dead knights in our group. That's pretty strange. And this is the third boss of the dungeon. This guy right here. This is some kind of evil dry nail, I think, yeah. And he has over 100,000 HP, like the other bosses too. So let's go do some dips right here. Just use my Adrenaline Rush ability. And this son of a bitch just uses some kind of trap ability on us. So this guy can stun us for a few seconds. Quite annoying, but let's just focus on dealing some crazy damage right here and take him down. And this guy is a hunter. Yes, he is a hunter. That's why he casts so many traps on us. So he is dead now and there's another monster right here. Well, he's not a boss or maybe he is a boss. It's a pet. It's a... It's a druid. Holy shit, it's a cow druid. And he just sit down right there. 
and he does nothing. Well, this is strange. Pretty strange right here. It's a friendly cow. So just gonna wave to him. Hello. Hello, cow. But anyway, now let's move on to the final boss of the Underbog dungeon. Fear is gonna kill this huge giant monster. Just die, you damn bastard. Don't get in our way. And he is dead. Nice. So now we gonna go... Where we gonna go? I have no idea where to go, but it looks like we gonna go this way. Yes, this is the way for the final boss of the dungeon. Again, a lot of monsters in our way before we reach the last boss. Let's kill this giant creature. You gonna die. Come on, few more dips and he is dead. So here we go. And this must be the room for the final boss. I see some dead creatures right here on the ground. What the hell is this? Look at this. This is pretty strange. And there it is. This is the final boss of the Underbog dungeon. Some kind of tentacle looking creature. That has 150,000 HP. But still it's not a problem for us. Poppy might drink it. Gonna deal some more dips on it. And let's just kill this tentacle creature. Damn it. Damn annoying monster. This monster's HP is going down pretty fast. Few more hits and it is dead. That's it. Just got the achievement. Underbog has just been fully cleared. Nice. So gonna get the quest item and this thing just dropped some kind of dagger. But I just gonna grid on it like always and that's basically it. So this was the Underbog Dungeon, I hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, bye!